Okay then, in this video we will briefly discuss some of the polyline options. So let's have a look what options we have. For that, let's head over to the official documentation of the leaflet. So in here, so we have l.polyline class and we have some options. So the first option is smooth factor. So this one by default has a value of 1. So this one defines how smooth your drawing should be. Like for instance, um, if you increase this number, for instance, let's if you make it 10, um, you will get better performance, but your drawing will not be very accurate. So for instance, if you would like to draw, you know, like very curved um, a line, it will not allow you to do that. It's going to be very smooth and it's going to be more or less like a, you know, straight line. So, but on the other hand, if you decrease this number, for instance, 0 0.5 or 0 0.1, you will have better um, or accurate, more accurate representation as written in here. But um, you will, th there will be a lack of performance when you draw um, lines. So let's um, let's quickly do this. I mean, like let's play around with this. So we we say let's go to the code and to our l dot polyline class, which is in here. So we have these options at the moment. So we have specified that we want the color to be red. So and in here let's say smooth factor smooth factor and let's make it 10 so now if we go and let's draw a line so if I just draw a line that's my first line and let's zoom in so that's my second so you see it's not letting me you know to draw so if I just want to, let's say, draw this line, you see, it's not bending. It's just, it's just straightening it up. So you see, so that's what smooth factor is. So on the other hand, if you say, hey, I don't want, you know, 10, instead I want 0 0.1, it will give you uh, more, fl uh, it will be more flexible and will give you um, you know, if you would like to draw, you know, like very curved line, you can easily do that. So, for instance, if I want to just follow this line, so I can easily do that. But of course, you don't, I don't, you don't actually feel the difference in terms of performance. So, maybe if it's on, on a mobile device where you have, you know, very limited uh, processing and, and memory, um, it might somehow affect. Uh, the performance, but here on the computer, on on uh, on a machine, uh, on a desktop machine, no problem at all. I don't I don't see any problem. So <clears throat> that's what a smooth factor is. So then we have some other options. So that these are options inherited from Pass because this Pass is an abstract class, so, and you know Polyline uh, is derived from this abstract class. So these are all, I think, related to styling, like stroke, color, weight. So for instance, weight is three, so it means thickness. So for instance, if you would like to say, hey, I want weight to be, let's say six, that's gonna, that, that would be the double, double of this. So you see, it's very thick, thick line. So then you can also control opacity, line caps, uh, fill, fill color. And then we have some other options like interactive and it's usually interactive. So it means if you, it's like it relates to mouse events as it's written in here. That's fine. It's, it should be true. If you set it, this one to false, so that means it will not, uh, it will not be interactive. So that means you, for instance, if you have pop up or something like that, it's not going to work. So then we have some other options. We have some events, methods. So basically, I highly suggest that you go through these um, options, events, and methods just to familiarize yourself. It's very easy because 
it should be very easy to you because we discussed some of the methods and events um, so like click and double click and we implemented some of the options so yeah so again I, I suggest you go through them and then just familiarize yourself so thank you very much and I will see you in the next video